Hi everyone, welcome back to another Beyblade Burst GT unboxing video and today we're going to be opening up the brand new Master Diabolos. Uh, there he is on that front image, looking pretty awesome I must say. And it looks like we get a new left right launcher with him as well. Uh, so pretty keen on getting hold of that. And um, start off with our usual thing and check out the back here at what they've got listed inside the box. Uh, so we've got the Diabolos chip and then uh, our layer is called the Master Layer. And uh, unlike its predecessor where we had uh, the two layers, uh, the Venom uh, and uh, Erase, uh, we've only just got the one this time but it's reversible so uh, something a bit different there and um, then with our uh, driver it's called a generate and we've got a small stat up in the top corner there uh, but I have no idea what it's indicating and uh, then we've got a bit of uh, imagery um, letting us know that it does have the driver does have two modes so it looks like an attack mode and a stamina mode and then down the bottom corner is just, uh, as I previously explained, uh, uh, a picture of both sides of that layer there, um, giving it the ability to spin left and right as well. And um, that's it for all that information. Uh, we'll get him open and then uh, have a proper look at all those parts and... Uh, finish off with putting him together and a bit of a test fire. Well, here he is out of our packaging now and it looks like we've got some stickers to put on. Uh, most of those go on our launcher and only four small ones for the layer. Uh, so I'll cut away again and get those on and then we'll come back for the review. Okay, we're back now with all of our stickers on and I'll just let you know uh, in between uh, putting those on I did uh, compare the length of this cord uh, to uh, the previous Chosey uh, Achilles left right launcher that came with him and the two are the exact same length so uh, nothing to worry about in that department. Uh, but I will move him aside now and move uh, the two parts of the bay into the center of screen. And um, the first thing uh, we'll do is have a look at that Diabolos chip. And before we actually do have a look at the chip, uh, something uh, that really surprised me just happened. Why I was removing him, uh, this little weight here actually popped out as well. So uh, I did not realize at all, and I don't think it was indicated on the box there that um, there was a small weight system um, that comes with this bay. So yeah, really surprising uh, to have uh, seen that. And um, now we'll, we will actually move on to having a look at the teeth on our chip. And I've just noticed something else uh, with our Diabolos chip this time. Uh, so I've gone and grabbed my old one uh, so I can better show you what that is. And the way I'll do that is I'll put the two side by side. And um, at first glance, you would probably say that there is no change uh, between the two. 
but then if we go to an uh, on top view uh, as you can see with the old um, chip we have three teeth either side uh, but with our new one we actually have three teeth on this side and uh, two teeth on this side and I think that would come into play with uh, the left row when it, uh, the bay is uh, rotating left and um, it's going to be interesting to see how that affects its uh, performance when doing so. Um, next up uh, we'll move on to our layer. So here it is, our master layer, and we're going to begin this off with the right rotating side, and there is an R there to indicate that. There's lots of uh, red and gold on this um, half, and I love it. Uh, it just looks so awesome. Um, the metal on uh, this section of the layer is on these two outer bits, and all the other uh, gold is just painted plastic. And... Um, We'll flip to the left rotating uh, half and uh, it's uh, quite a lot of silver and red and uh, the metal is indicated by these two gold um, bits here on either side of the bay and then we've got uh, some stickering covering those screws and uh, there's our L indicating that it is the left uh, rotating side and uh, that's it for um, the two halves of our layer and we'll move on to our driver next that we get generate as I previously mentioned when reading out the back of the box and I think this thing looks fantastic like all that design they've got on the metal there um, it really is one of the best looking drivers that I have seen um, because of that and uh, the coloring is sweet as well um, so uh, quite a bit of weight to it um, too uh, if I had a weighing system here I'd like to compare that to uh, those power drivers but it's probably up there with them um, and uh, the way this works is uh, pretty much the opposite of an ultimate reboot so we start uh, with uh, the tip um, uh, extended and then um, when you launch it actually goes into attack mode and then when it slows down uh, we get uh, it back to stamina mode so I've only seen that design on one other bay and I believe it's uh, El Drago Destroy um, the metal fusion bay uh, which I actually have and uh, not here with me so I would have liked to uh, grab that uh, to do a bit of a comparison as well but uh, you know I can only uh, work with what I've got and uh, we'll piece him together now and um, have a listen to clicks the clicks on both sides of the bay and then we'll finish things off finally with that test launch All right, so we're going to listen to the right rotating sides clicks first and I'll just get him in there and one, two, three. So there we are. I was right about those teeth. Uh, the ones with three are on the right rotating side. Yep, three in burst. And um, they're actually quite strong. Um, good amount of resistance with those clicks. Pretty heavy and it uh, uh, seems like it would uh, be pretty hard to burst. And uh, we'll get them apart and put this chip and weight on the other side now. And that just falls out. Really easy to remove. And how's it going? There we go. First time actually moving that to the other side. And that was pretty simple. And here we go. Two. So one two burst yep yeah two and burst and those are really strong as well good amount of uh, resistance solid um, solid bay in my opinion this one's uh, going to be a tough one to beat i'm looking forward to um, some future battles with him and seeing how he actually performs um, so uh, 
Last thing left to do is uh, that test fire in a stadium. And here we go, we've got the stadium out, got the lights going, got the new launcher starting off uh, left rotation at 3, 2, 1, go shoot. That felt nice. And there are that attack mode to begin with, quite aggressive. Um, and we are slowing down quite a bit. Might be hard. Oh, there it goes. Heard the click. Oh, wow. Stamina mode kicking in and moving to center. Wow. And got a bit of a uh, bit of movement still. Oh, that's awesome. All right. Well. There we are for that. We'll go over to uh, the right rotation now. Right rotation. Three, two, one, go shoot. And, oh, jeez. I didn't even angle launch that. So, much more aggressive when it takes off around the stadium. That's all right. And uh, slowing down. I'm just waiting on that stamina mode to take effect. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a, that is quite a loud click when it does that. So awesome. All right, and uh, once again, still carries a fair amount of movement, even though it is in that stamina mode, but... Uh, Saying that, it does look like it is going to last a fair while. All right, well, we'll end off there. Wow. There we have it. New uh, Master Diabolos. I'm impressed. Uh, I hope you liked the video. And until next time, enjoy the rest of your day.